that uh, the authority has always, always sought to know any information of the National Police Service uh, that is formed. Uh, we have always sought to know who the members of uh, those units are, who they report to, and how they are formed. Uh, so those are questions we have been grappling with. And uh, when the disbandment happened, uh, we, we were not shocked. But the manner in which it was done, uh, we felt it was a little bit um, out of procedure because uh, we, the, the, the members of those units are under investigations now. They are Kenyans and they deserve justice. They receive orders uh, from somewhere. So those investigations are ongoing. Uh, but what concerns us mainly is that the, um, the IAU, Internal Affairs Unit of the, of the National Police Service have taken over those investigations, and those investigations are squarely, or should be squarely, with the authority, because the police, as you know, cannot effectively investigate themselves. So we are also asking that this authority be left to carry out its mandate uh, without interference from the National Police Service. Uh, the chair has mentioned, and I want to emphasize, uh, the authority has met serious challenges of non-cooperation from um, the members of the National Police Service. We hardly get cooperation. When we summon, we have to insist that they come. So those are some of the challenges that we have. And we are hoping in this new administration that the cooperation that we have had with the members of the National Police Service will be enhanced so that we are able to carry out independent um, investigations by ourselves uh, without any interference or without any resistance. Um, I also hasten to add that we are appealing passionately to the members of the public to come forward. Most of the missing persons and the decomposing bodies, uh, we are stuck because uh, the members of the public hasn't come so that we, their DNA could be taken and therefore the bodies could be identified. So the public has a role to play, even as the authority also pushes forward with the investigations. We are not taking a cue from the head of state by this disbandment. So it's nothing new for us, and we are not shocked. We, we, we sought to know who Frank Squad were, who Kanga were. So all those formations, um, the, the Independent Oversight Authority has always sought to know who they are. This is a good opportunity for us, then, therefore, to make sure that the membership of those units are investigated and the files forwarded to the ODPP, and even us, they take their plea, uh, some of them take their plea this morning. We are expecting more. We are expecting more from even the previous formations of Frying Squad because Kenyans have actually been saying that they want a national police service, not, not a national police force. I thank you very much. <laughs>